Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, finally, after I think 30 plus videos, I am finally trying out a YouTube trend. It's not exactly a trend, but I've seen multiple art YouTubers do this. Art of Chloe Rose, um, ADC Art, and even, I think, uh, Demi Danzo Art. They all did this trend of coloring, an artist coloring in a coloring book. And I don't, I really like the idea. And I just found it to be so much, like such an interesting idea, I just had to do it myself. Sadly, um, the only coloring books I had lying around were these. Despite the fact that I have a five-year-old sister, but meditation coloring book and adult coloring book. Not ideal. I want to do a children's coloring book. So I kind of forgot that these existed. And I went on the internet and searched up children's coloring pages. I know this isn't a coloring book exactly, but it is a coloring page and it's better than the adult coloring book because that had really complicated designs and wouldn't have been that difficult, honestly. But the paper from this, the A4 paper that I printed it on was obviously not for painting, so I decided let's transfer this to my sketchbook and I will paint it there. This way I'll actually have the original picture to look at as well because I mean I'm going to need it. So the way I'm going to transfer it is thanks to Super Ray Dizzle. I'm going to cover the entire back of it with lead and then trace it. Soon enough, I realized that lead was pretty pointless because I kept breaking the name of my pencil like three times. So then I decided to go for charcoal. That was a bad idea. I made my hand messy, the desk messy, and I, I struggled with this for like the rest of the video. Like, Every time I tried to look at it, everything underneath would go all black. Kind of annoying. But it worked, honestly. It worked. I'm happy. It's fine. So the point was to basically trace over the whole drawing to get the exact thing. I, I traced over every single line, every tiny bit of it. It is the exact same drawing for anyone who wishes to complain. It is the exact same drawing. I promise. I kind of took all the stuff that ADC Art Attack did, Toyo's Art, and I think, I'm not sure what this third art YouTuber's name is, but she printed it out from the internet. I got it back from her. Art Toyo Rose used paint, I'm gonna use paint, and ADC Art Attack kind of went for a Disney theme, so I kind of combined all three of their ideas and went for it myself. Also, Rapunzel is probably my favorite princess. She loves art, she paints. I think she's left-handed. I'm not sure if she's left-handed, right-handed, because I've, you know, forget I said that. Honestly, my, even my sister was painting Rapunzel that day when I did the video with her, and I painted the. I've always painted the lantern scene, but I've never actually painted Rapunzel herself. So I was like, you know, good opportunity. Let's do it. It was kind of fun to just sit and paint something relaxing because last week I did that milk box thing. Uh, the link is right up in the card if you want to watch it. it was, that was an interesting one, but not exactly relaxing. More of my brain involved there. Just some relaxed painting is... Well, it was fun. Right now I'm basically just putting down a base coat. There's no shading involved. It's, this is like block coloring. It's what a child's work would have looked like if they had filled this in. I would have done that like with paint or something like Photoshop I would have filled the colors in and showed you guys what it might have looked like but I was too lazy so I didn't do that. Another reason I kind of chose to do Rapunzel is because I got this really pretty new purple color and I really wanted to use it. I didn't know where to use it until I saw Rapunzel and I'm like, okay, yeah, I know what I'm painting for this video. Now I'm starting to put in kind of details. I've made the folds of the dress, added some shades and highlights. Right now I think I'm working on the shades. It was honestly quite interesting to see what I could do with this. I mean, I obviously couldn't change the background, the actual sketch. The actual picture, I couldn't change it. I couldn't add any extra details. I had to do exactly what the picture was. There's a lot of things that they kind of missed out. 
in this final thing. I was looking at, I had to take reference from actual pictures of Rapunzel, but I, I figured they actually made quite a few changes. Like, there's no, this isn't an actual scene in the movie. Pretty sure it isn't. So, I had to take bits and pieces from multiple pictures. My favorite part, honestly, was of the whole thing was the sleeves, because I feel like I put in the best highlights and shadows there. My favorite, my, I was most looking forward to the hair. But then, when I finished it, I feel like the dress looked the best. And the skin color, oh god, I struggled with that a bit. I don't have any actual skin color, so I had to mix it. And then there were times and I'm like, no, this isn't the right color. Wait, this is the right color. I've ruined the right color. Wait, no, I need to add more yellow to this color. No, it needs more orange. No, it needs pink. It needs more white. It, I, I overdid the skin, like, at least a minimum of four times. Like, a minimum. And then... Because of the paint, I covered up the nose and I could no longer see the nose. And then I had to redraw the nose once the paint had dried. But then I still messed up the thing because it, it, it looked weird. Even in the end when I finished it, the nose doesn't look right. But you know, I don't care. Like, that's, that's not Rapunzel's nose. That, that's <laughs> I'm not even sure whose nose that is. At this point I was so fed up with the face and the skin, I'm like, you know what, let's forget this exists for now and kinda just um, move on. So I went on with my favorite part, the hair. I mean, it, it was fun to do, but I feel like the dress still looked the best. But the hair was the most fun to do. It's like the f more free strokes, more open space. It's like, just more fun. I feel like watching time-lapse videos of art is so much more relaxing. I mean, I know I made the painting, but watching the time-lapse of this while I'm doing the audio is more fun. Like, way more fun. It's like I'm not in that messy situation with the paint. And I'm enjoying it. Notice how my... I've... My... Uh, the reference picture, the actual drawing, it's like I had to very consciously keep it off my work or else there would be charcoal everywhere. I should have been smart and kind of like put a paper behind that the whole time or something but I didn't do that. I just kind of... My whole desk was covered in charcoal after this. Like it was messy. Just really messy. She looks kind of evil without the her eyes colored in. It was after I finished the face that I realized, yikes, I've made a mess. Not made a mess, like it was not that bad, not made a mess. But it doesn't look like Rapunzel. Uh, her nose was very different. I did try to fix it as much as I could, but it was still kind of funny. Uh, her mouth was fine her eyes kind of went funny I moved her hair a bit in the front I don't know I moved things around because I lost the sketch under the paint Pascal was fun to do I it, this painting needed the green without that it would have been really uh, for me it would have been like just kind of flat it needed the green anyway here's the final thing my camera decided to die as soon as I was finishing so I wasn't able to get like the final things that I did my desk as I said, it's a mess. But we ignore that. This was the original. And there's the final. I know there's a lot of mistakes, like a lot of differences in the whole thing, but I had fun. It was fun and it was interesting. I'm probably gonna try this again, maybe later. The only thing I'm really concerned about is the nose. It's changing the entire picture. 
and also Pascal, I kind of changed the direction he's looking like in the original picture it looks like he's looking at Rapunzel in my picture it looks like he's looking at something different I'm probably actually gonna try this thing again next time with an actual coloring book hopefully I'll find a nice one and then do it anyway just I don't know what to say now I kind of filmed this outro as a very long one so you guys just stare at the painting you know I hope you guys liked this week's video. Like, share, and subscribe. 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 Bye.